He is known for his contributions to the field of philosophy during the 17th century. He is recognized for his influential works on political philosophy, particularly his book Leviathan. He is Thomas Hobbes. In the small town of Westport, England, a premature boy named Thomas Hobbes was born on April 5, 1588. Legend has it that his birth was accompanied by an ominous premonition. Thomas later remarked, My mother gave birth to twins, myself and fear. This haunting quote would foreshadow the philosophical journey of a man who would confront the depths of human nature and the chaos of the world. Thomas grew up in a humble family with his older brother Edmund and sister Anne. His father, Thomas Sr., was a vicar, while his mother's name remains a mystery. Thomas Sr.'s lack of education led to a tumultuous life, resulting in him leaving London and entrusting his children under the care of his wealthy brother, Francis. From a young age, Thomas showed promise as a scholar. He attended the local school at Westport and then moved on to the Malmesbury School. Later, he studied under a young graduate from the University of Oxford, Robert Latimer. Thomas's intellectual prowess was evident, and in 1601, he enrolled at Magdalen Hall, which would later become Hertford College, Oxford. It was during this time that he delved into the works of Euripides, translating Medea from Greek into Latin verse. However, Thomas's time at university was marked by a deviation from the conventional academic path. He was disenchanted with the traditional scholastic learning and instead pursued his own interests. In 1608, he completed his BA degree at St. John's College, Cambridge, and his connection with the Cavendish family, especially William Cavendish, began. Thomas served as a tutor and secretary to William and his family, accompanying him on a grand tour of Europe. During this tour, Thomas encountered new intellectual influences that challenged his previous beliefs. He became acquainted with Fulgenzio Micanzio, an associate of Paolo Serpi, a prominent Venetian scholar and statesman. It was in this stimulating environment that Thomas's interest in philosophy blossomed, culminating in his translation of Thucydides' History of the Peloponnesian War, in 1628. Thomas Hobbes's life was a journey marked by intellectual curiosity and a relentless pursuit of knowledge. From his early encounters with fear to his transformative travels across Europe, he would go on to make profound contributions to the world of philosophy. Little did he know that his philosophical ideas would shape the understanding of human nature, society, and political governance, cementing his place as one of the most influential thinkers of his time. In Paris, Thomas Hobbes found himself immersed in a world of intellectual curiosity and philosophical debates. He had been hired as a tutor to Gervis Clifton, the son of Sir Gervis Clifton, and later found work with the Cavendish family, tutoring William Cavendish, the third Earl of Devonshire. It was during these years that Hobbes's own interest in philosophy began to awaken. While in Paris, Hobbes became engaged in philosophical groups and even had the opportunity to visit Galileo Galilei in Florence. His studies focused on the physical doctrine of motion and physical momentum. However, he held a disdain for experimental work in physics and instead aimed to develop a systematic doctrine of body, explaining how physical phenomena could be universally understood through motion. Hobbes's grand plan was to separate man from the realm of nature and plants, and to delve into the specific bodily motions that gave rise to sensations, knowledge, affections, and passions in humans. He sought to understand how these bodily motions connected individuals to one another. Ultimately, his ambition was to explore how humans were compelled to form societies and to establish rules to prevent the descent into brutishness and misery. Through his treatises, Hobbes aimed to unite the separate phenomena of body, man, and the state, providing a comprehensive understanding of the human experience and the organization of society. His studies and philosophical pursuits would shape the foundation of his philosophy and greatly influence his future works. As the story of Thomas Hobbes in Paris unfolds, his dedication to understanding human nature and society becomes increasingly evident. His exploration of the physical and social realms would lay the groundwork for his influential philosophical ideas that continue to resonate in the modern world. Thomas Hobbes, a renowned philosopher of his time, returned home to England in 1637, only to find his country in turmoil and unrest. Despite the chaos around him, Hobbes remained focused on his philosophical pursuits. During this period, he wrote a treatise called The Elements of Law, Natural and Politic, which he circulated among his acquaintances as a manuscript. Although it was not officially published, a pirated version eventually made its way into the public domain a decade later. Even though the political crisis of the time had an influence on Hobbes's work, many aspects of his political thought remained consistent between the elements of law and his later magnum opus, Leviathan. However, there was one notable change in his argument regarding the necessity of consent in creating political obligation. In The Elements of Law, Hobbes stated that patrimonial kingdoms were not necessarily formed by the consent of the governed, 
but in Leviathan, he argued that they were. This shift may have been influenced by the ongoing engagement controversy or the works of patriarchalists like Sir Robert Filmer. As the Long Parliament replaced the Short Parliament in November 1640, Hobbes felt increasingly out of favor due to the circulation of his treatise. Feeling the need to escape the political tensions, he fled to Paris and stayed there for the next 11 years. In Paris, Hobbes reunited with his circle of intellectual friends centered around Marin Mersenne. During this time, he took up the task of critiquing René Descartes' Meditations on First Philosophy, which was printed as part of a collection of objections and replies in 1641. Unfortunately, this led to the end of their correspondence. While in Paris, Hobbes continued to expand his own works. He completed the third section of his larger political work, The Civ, in November 1641. Although initially distributed privately, it received positive reception and contained arguments that he would later revisit in Leviathan. Hobbes also engaged in scientific pursuits, such as publishing a treatise on optics in a collection of scientific tracts released by Mersenne in 1644. Additionally, his growing reputation in philosophical circles led to his involvement as a referee in the controversy between John Pell and Longomontanus over the squaring of the circle problem. Hobbes's time in Paris and his diverse intellectual engagements broadened his horizons and enriched his understanding of society and politics. These experiences and the development of his philosophical ideas laid the groundwork for his future contributions to political theory and ethics, which continue to be relevant and thought-provoking in our modern world. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.